first set on a tie break, came back well in the second set against Sampras, so one set all. He's 5-2 down in the third, but I'm afraid Sampras seems to have hurt himself somewhere. He's gone off with Doug Spreen, and uh, we've been enjoying the commentary, Bill uh, and Wally. But I'm reminded, Bill, of the uh, third set of the second match against Larson in the Davis Cup final uh, last year. Were you in, was it, it was in Gothenburg, wasn't it? And uh, Sampras had to pull out, and it was uh, a deep muscle strain in the left calf. That was just our thoughts from the studio. We I don't know if you remember that one. Andrew, we were just saying the same thing in the, the commentary position here, that uh, uh, in that Davis Cup match he had to pull out and, uh, in fact, went home. He didn't even stop and uh, see the rest of the match, which I thought uh, was a rather extraordinary thing to do for a member of a Davis Cup team to, uh, to vanish in Sweden um, and go home. But, uh, yeah, we were thinking just the same thing. I don't know, uh, Andrew, if you noticed anything that uh, he did. At, oh, here we are in the, uh, in the treatment room, I think, here. Yes, Brian Early there with Todd Snyder. I was talking to Todd Snyder about that injury uh, at Wimbledon, actually when he was hitting with Mark Pecci at Orangi right before one of the matches. And it was, it was a muscle tear, I seem to remember, right inside the muscle. It wasn't one of these ones that just goes away with a couple of days of uh, ultrasound or anything, but it was a deep muscle injury. And I have to say, Rafa, playing an injured man is never easy. I don't know whether he's going to get out on court. I don't know if we can learn anything from this like you guys. Trying to interpret this is a little bit tricky, but... As he follows through on that backhand side, clearly there's a problem there. And uh, this would well, be Well, actually, for the first time, I was looking at his face. <laughs> it didn't and, hurt uh, that. There was agony written all over it. Yes, it look, looks bad from here. I don't know if Mark Petchy has any comments to make on this one particularly. Well, I think Wally probably was right. I think it's back. I mean, the reason that he's gone off the court, he's obviously, uh, obviously somewhere he's got to pull his shirt up or take his shorts down or something. It's obviously, I think it must be in the lower back as if it was his calf. He'd just get treated on the court. Now, if there's one man uh, who I wouldn't have wanted to be injured playing against, it's Wally Mazur. There's a thinking tennis player for you. Now, what's Pat Rafter got to do now to finish off an injured man? Well, I can only think up here in the commentary booth. It's a lot easier, but not easy for Rafter. I could sense there there was an added urgency to his play. He knew that Sampras was a little wounded and he was really trying to make it count that last service game. But Rafter, he's a pretty... He's at 25 years of age. He's got a Grand Slam title under his belt. He's a good campaigner now. He's played a lot of Davis Cup ties for Australia, and all that experience will hold him in good stead. He's comfortable with the limelight. He won't mind the fact that he's out there on his own. Sampras just making his way. Doug Spreen, the ATP trainer in attendance. He looks, you'd have to say, Bill, he looks in some discomfort. I would say so, yeah. That expression on his face was one of uh, severe displeasure, I thought, at his physical condition, but uh, remains to be seen. He's, uh, he may look tough, you know, Sampras, but he's tender, actually. Quite often in the past, in various matches, we've seen for various different reasons. He has been suffering. Well, he just pulled his left heel up to his buttock. That is a hamstring, a quadricep stretch. So maybe up high up towards Thank the groin in the quadricep. You can see him there. Just testing, putting some weight on it. So maybe he's had some strapping, some heat applied and some strapping applied to his upper left thigh. It was noticeable uh, after he did the injury that he never went to, uh, to the net. He just served and stayed back, so uh, clearly he was in some trouble. Anyway, we have Rafter serving to stay in this third set, 2-5. 15 love. Well, Andrew was talking about it in the, uh, just in that little link up with the studio. Playing a wounded man is never easy because in some respects they tend to loosen up, start going for their shots. And you start playing to make your opponent move around the court as opposed to just playing a natural shot. There was a case there where Rafter tried to angle a volley away. When he pointed to it, the percentage volley was straight up the line. So it's very hard. You've just got to play your normal game. Just try to block the opponent out of your mind. There we are, swinging freely. And Sampras has two set points. Well, I guess the Pat was actually down the break already, so... This is not the worst thing. Still a long way to go for Pete Sampras. Game, that's 
So there we are. Powerful return from Sampras, and he's got the uh, two set to one lead. Sampras leads two sets to one. Well, how often do you see it? Guy carries an injury, twists an ankle, and just starts to really go for it. It becomes very dangerous. You can see Pete just testing that left thigh, and it must be the left side because that's the side that bears all the weight when you serve. Unusual. Sampras just telling himself after he missed that serve, come on, fight. Articulating. Trying to get himself pumped up, get his mind in the right place. Well, this just puts a whole new complexion on the match. It sure does, doesn't it? The extent of the injury, how Rafter can cope with the fact that he's playing an injured man. Can he play, continue to play his own game? Probably see even bigger serving from Sampras now for cheap points. 15, 13. Such as a second serve at 118. I mean, that is something else, isn't it? He wants this pretty badly. And it was a big roar of approval after he made the forehand winner. He can see it. This is like a jackal. That's a great shot. Sampras quit on his way to it, I think. And Rafter has the break. Interesting. Very interesting well, I, now. I thought that was a good reaction from Pat Rafter because, uh, well, obviously it's, a, it's great to break first game of the fourth set, but just to show, he just let Pete Sampras know here that, hey, I am here, pal, listen to me. Suddenly there's a whole different complexion on this match, I think. Suddenly passion has entered the arena, which it really wasn't before, but... Uh, it was a sort of cold, cold sort of analytical match before, It was. The, match the before, first set, wasn't it? very clinical, you'd have to say, that both players playing a similar style of play, attacking the body on the serve. So Sampras has just received something at the change. I can't quite tell from here what it is. Maybe a heat pack. We saw Philippousis applying a heat pack to his left thigh the other night against Johansson. I was so busy talking, I missed the summary of the third set. Needless to say, the statistics are in Pete's favour. Not always a great fan of the statistics. They can be a fairly subjective thing. What is an unforced error in there? Sampras just stretched, stretching that left quadricep. Well, he, uh, if his mobility is impaired, obviously he's going to have to adjust his style of play. He's going to have to, I mean, <laughs> you know, playing Pat Rafter is everywhere on the court and who doesn't make mistakes, he's got a major problem. Well, you talked about passion entering. Pete, a uh, bit of psychology entering the, the, the play too now. Pete got up very quickly out of his chair to return serve. Seems like he doesn't want to sit down and stiffen up. Rafter took his full time. He's not going to be rushed. Well, there's another factor enters uh, the whole equation, and that is that uh, Sampras could win this match. One more set he gets. And then, of course, injuries can do all sorts of horrible things overnight. Maybe he couldn't play, even play the final. I mean, that is all a possibility in the future.
Percy Lowe. Not a very pleasing probability, is it, if that was to happen? There'd be a lot of disappointed fans, disappointed TV networks. Well, I think it'd be terribly sad for Philippoussis in this case to win a Grand Slam title by default. Yes, it would be. It wouldn't. It would be a great victory, but a, a hollow nonetheless. Forty long. But having said that, Pete has to try to win the match. He has to try to get through it. And then hopefully the injury will respond to treatment. He doesn't have the day's rest. Of course, the final is tomorrow. Game rough down. Well, you talked about Pat's presence, and there is there's his girlfriend Lara taking a picture. He does have good presence on the court, and I was impressed with the way he just responded to the fact that he just lost the third set. He came out and broke immediately, which always helps your spirits. 15 love. But he certainly let Pete know that he's around, and if he wants to beat him, 129 miles an hour on the line. love. And all of a sudden, we see the power and the rhythm and the accuracy that we expect from Pete Sampras. So, so far this match, 44% on the first serve. Correction, play the press. Oh, we just had information uh, from the referee's office that apparently it's a hip problem that Sampras is suffering. So presumably that's accurate as it came from the referee's office. let up in this massive speed of second serve. Thirteen double faults now from Sampras. Overtaken the aces, 11 aces, and 13 double faults. Oh! Game, Sampras. Yeah. So Sampras with a very unhappy look on his face, and here comes the trainer, is down one, game to two, fourth set. Well, Sampras having uh, treatment from the trainer, having a drink, had a pretty unhappy look on his face. In fact, I thought he looked near to tears in that last game. Looks a little bit happier now. Didn't have an injury timeout then. Did it in the uh, minute of the chair. Seems to be walking a bit more freely too after that little bit of treatment. But Rafter with the break, serving 2-1, fourth set. Thank you. 